You conceded four goals, like you said. Last season, they conceded 20 goals in the whole season in 38 La Liga games. They're already on 18 in 16. Man, that's more than a goal a game conceded. I don't want to pick on Koundé, but I think it's obvious that he's not on the level he was at when he was at Sevilla. Last season, Jules Koundé was probably one of the best defenders in the world. And ever since he stepped on the pitch in this moment, he hasn't been the same. But how did we get into this mess? Well, last season, Kunde came to Barca being one of the best and most consistent center backs in La Liga. For Sevilla, Jules was really, really good for several years, and he excelled with the ball and showed off his athleticism on top of his high football IQ. He seemed primed to move to one of the best clubs in the world, and in 2022, he moved to Barcelona for around 45 million pounds. However, that season, wouldn't exactly go as planned. From the beginning, Xavi deployed Koundé as a right back on the team sheet and often had the responsibilities of both a right-sided center back and a right wing back. Alongside another new signing in Christensen and now the star of Araujo, the back line looked incredible when they were all healthy. They flowed well together and they were very familiar with the system that they played in, allowing each one of them to excel. However, it wasn't exactly what Kunde had always wanted. As a right back, there were plenty of times where he had to make aggressive runs down the line to open up space for his winger and even create chances for himself. And yet there was just something about the right back position that Kunde just didn't like. And so he made his concerns known to Xavi and that introduces to us the first problem with this situation, Xavi conceding to his team. And before I get all angry and rowdy about Kunde, to be fair, he was pretty good as a center back in the beginning of this season, but the entire team was also very good. When the squad played well and was confident and had somewhat of an identity, center back Koundé played very well as well. He looked like every bit of the man we had seen mature at Sevilla, but then he went out injured. And when he came back, he entered into a team that had lost that identity and that confidence. Jules wasn't ready to enter into a team like that. He made mistake after mistake because of the whole mayhem going on, but he was a bit unlucky that almost each time he made a mistake, it was would lead to a goal for the opponent and put Barcelona in an unfortunate situation. The season before, not only had he been a more solid player, but he also helped protect the team in dangerous situations and saved a lot of goals because of it. Now we saw the exact opposite of that, him causing goals. This continued until he played terribly against Deportivo Alaves, showing that he wasn't exactly ready to go up against their tall and powerful striker, while Xavi and his tactics did the team a favor and took Araujo out of the play because they were playing him as a right back. After what I would say was a little bit too much time to allow this to continue, Xavi finally made a change at halftime and swapped Kunde and Araujo, and everything was right again. The team was back in equilibrium and they defended well for the rest of that match pretty much. Not only was Araujo better at taking on bigger and more powerful attackers than Kunde, but Kunde was better on the ball than Araujo on the right. Kunde is welcome to have ambitions. I have no problem with him wanting to play a different position, which actually makes me ask more questions because of the situation of Xavi. Mostly, does Xavi really think that putting less than an ideal squad out there is worth it just to make one player happy? Because surely that isn't the right choice, because if you have Araujo playing as right back and Kunde at center back and the team concedes a goal because of it, are you not risking the happiness of the rest of your squad? Because now they're down by a goal. That can't be very pleasing for them. To be fair, we don't know if Kunde gave Xavi some ultimatum that if he doesn't play as a center back from now on, he is going to try and force a move with the board or something. And since the club is in so much dire money issues, they'd probably concede to that. But I just can't see Kunde doing that. So I really hope Xavi recognizes that he needs to play his best players in each position whenever possible. If that means Kunde is his best option at center back for a match or two, say with Inigo or Araujo out injured, then by all means go for it. But that wasn't the case this season. But this is so upsetting because of how much better Kunde is as a right back than pretty much anyone else in this squad and how much better the team looks with him there than with anyone else there. With Kunde out on the right, the team has solidity it just doesn't have with only two center backs. And without a proper ball winning pivot like Busquets, that's even more important. You can say what you want about Busquets and his age and his pace for the last few years, but it's a fact that we don't have a player to cover his position and that space that he could cover in years past. And so the team is more exposed defensively. So we need a lot more protection right now and we can't afford to have half our 
our back line in Balde and Cancelo constantly running all the way up to Narnia and leaving the two center backs exposed to all hell at the back. Jules Koundé is a solution to that. Having three or four center backs has become a commonality between all of the best teams in the world. Just look at the two Champions League finalists from last season. City and Inter almost always played at least three center backs in their squad. Football is changing and smart coaches are keying into the strength that having several center backs provides to you. Kunde can work in similar ways that Walker did at City, even if he can't track back with the same pace ability that Walker can, he can still do a similar job. But now another problem has arisen. And again, it's Xavi. Look, I've ranted about the guy way too much over the past week, but the point stands that he isn't giving the squad enough time to find a rhythm and therefore allow Koundé to properly come back from his injury, even if it was over a month ago. During the Super Classico, Xavi abandoned all consistency that he had had for the past few games and moved Koundé centrally again and Araujo out wide, just as he had for every El Clasico since he has been the Barcelona coach. However, Carl Carlo Ancelotti finally found a solution to this in his rotation. Rodrigo and Jude were constantly rotating between playing out wide and being central, and that allowed Vinny a bit of freedom as well to move between Araujo and Koundé, and with all the runs they were making in behind the line, he often found himself up against the last defender, and that ended up being a lot of Koundé versus Vinny matchups. Vinny was winning all of them. Araujo was there to stop it at times, but Koundé was being exposed as the weakness in the defense. And his game wasn't without mistakes either. He wasn't just too slow to catch up with Vinny, which you can't hold against him because pretty much every player in world football is too slow to catch up with Vinny. But also, he was just a bit out of whack with the rest of the defense, specifically on the first Vinny Jr. goal. I'm not putting this solely on Koundé because I made a whole video talking about how a lot of this is Xavi's fault. But that game is over, right? Moving forward, I think they're gonna switch right back to having Koundé on the right, and maybe it'll be hard for his confidence to having just been hurt so badly, getting destroyed by Vinny. Vinny, and so maybe he might not even play as well on the right. Now I have confidence with him on the right, but this is just questions that you need to ask of Chavi, especially because he's not allowing these guys any time to get into a rhythm. I'm not going to act like Araujo's playing well either, but even though he is flawed right now, his quality as a center back is still higher than Kunde, and Kunde is still better than Araujo at right back, so that should be the lineup. However, this last problem is partially an issue, but it also might be the solution to this whole mess, money. Barcelona is broke and we know that. So there have been many rumors of the team wanting to offload a center back this summer. Now, I don't care how much money that would bring in. That's a bad idea because we've seen that all the best teams in the world are having several center backs start at once. And so it's important to have depth in that position. Now that's a problem for us because it drops the overall quality of this side. However, it's kind of a solution for him because maybe in an ideal world, he'll make a move to a team that will want to use him as a center back. However, I'm a little bit skeptical of that too, because I don't know if there are a lot of top tier clubs that are going to want him as a center back. There might be that role out there, but it's going to be hard for him to find that. However, he might be able to, and if he does, good for him. However, if he somehow ends up staying at Barca, I think a lot of it will have to do with him either deciding to commit to being a right back and enjoy being that and be happy being that, or hoping that Xavi gets sacked and that another coach comes in that will play a more solid three center back system like Jose Mourinho or something like that. But with the way Barcelona plays and the expectations of how they play, I don't have much hope for that. Kunde has immense quality as a player, and he's very good. And I don't want to take anything from that. I don't want you to take anything from that in this video. But I just hope that somehow he is able to find his footing and get a solid rhythm again for this idea of a system that Barcelona is trying to play. Because I really don't know if Xavi is going to be finding any miraculous solution to this mess anytime soon. I think it will come eventually, but that might not give Kunde enough time to prove his worth again to the board to avoid being sold this summer. Now, I don't think Kunde is a problem in the dressing room at all because he wants to be a center back. I think it's just something he wants. And so Xavi wanted him to be happy. And so he gave him that chance to play there. But to stick with this squad the way it is right now, he really needs to prove himself on the right because the squad needs him there. That's where I think the squad is the best. I just want him to be happy because he seems like a cool guy and he also can be very important for the squad. So I guess we'll just see how this season goes, but I have some good confidence in him that he'll figure it out. Also, I'm announcing today that I'll be live streaming a watch along of every single Barcelona match in January this season. So just subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on that. And why don't you slide on over to this video that's all about this whole mess and what's going on with Xavi at Barcelona. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.